the insurance industry isn't necessarily the most exciting industry for many, uh, and I and I guess um, the, uh, uh, the the world in which we lived was was very much uh, sometimes one which was a, of a distressed purchase. Um, that tends to bring its own communication challenges in that the, the bad news tends to precede the good. Uh, and whilst you know, our organisations uh, tended not to have too much bad news, uh, there were a lot of misperceptions uh, about exactly what the value of insurance was, uh, particularly to the senior executives, um, exactly what uh, the role that insurance and risk management played within the organisation to uh, help our customers to meet their business objectives and ultimately uh, were the tangible and measurable returns on that investment and I think they were the communications challenges that we, that we, that we found uh, through market research, uh, much of which we perhaps didn't agree with uh, but then that's exactly why we do market research because perceptions uh, trump reality in those circumstances. Our, over, our overall arching strategy was to establish leadership, thought leadership in the risk and insurance community. Uh, and in particular, recognising uh, the feedback from the market research to leverage the strengths uh, against some of those perceived weaknesses that, 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 that we had heard. Um, so that strategy was, was around, I would say, three key areas. Uh, first one was to, to uh, increase our visibility in the marketplace uh, through a, an integrated 360 degree a communications campaign. Um, second one was to establish key collateral that uh, we could would demonstrate uh, potential thought leadership, uh, and and the third one was 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 to be able to very clearly measure what the outcome of those uh, of those objectives would be. And I think those three areas really framed the strategy that we had developed. Interestingly, one of the key deliverables was internal rather than external. Uh, because our people uh, now had information and, and, and collateral themselves uh, that they could use to address that question, why do business with us? And we found that that was an extremely, uh, quite unexpected outcome of the, uh, of the, of the campaign. Um, the second deliverables we could measure in elements of uh, column inches, um, click-throughs from our online campaign, um, some success in some uh, so, some uh, competitions that we that that, that we uh, entered uh, in in the in the industry, uh, and I think those deliverables began to feel that that we were becoming a leader in our in, in our field, and I'd measure that from two standpoints. Number one was that journalists, both in the vertical press and and in the national press, were beginning to come to us. Uh, rather than us necessarily always going to them. Uh, and secondly, uh, which was a personal one, where a client, a long-term client, came to me and said, you know, Martin, I now have the information I need to be able to demonstrate why I do business with you. And perhaps the most significant uh, outcome of this campaign was that journalists and our clients uh, are beginning to endorse our message uh, with others uh, almost on our behalf.